Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Wrightsoft heat load calculation and in this case, ceiling library creation. All right, so let's get into it. So to begin with, uh, it's very important to remember and that's why I'm being redundant in, in this case. You always have to have your toolbox available and also you got to make sure that your grid system is consistent with what you want. So every dot in here, as you can see, is right now one feet. Or even, you can even check that in the grid settings. So you're gonna see in here, you go to drawing grid settings and it's, uh, actually it's six, which is good. Okay, I changed it before. So I like six to be honest, six, 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 there we go. All right, so you can even see it in here. So as you can see here, this is 50 feet. This is 51, so this is 50 and a half, see, right here? Okay, so let's start with this. So what we're going to do is actually create a library. So any time that you create a room, for example, you're going to have this room 11 by 10, and then you're going to call this, for example, dining room. <clears throat> there we go. So when you create a dining room, you have four different aspects you have the following. You right click and you have the property sheet. In the property sheet, you have four tabs that you have to fill out. Number one tab is the room. In the room, you have the room name included in the calculations, yes, entire house, yes. Room heating condition is gonna be air only, air only, we're conditioning by air. Room type doesn't matter. Room height, nine feet, you can put eight feet, 10 feet, however you want. Internal loads, you can put this zero or depending on the type of room in the future, we're gonna be talking about what heat loads are applied for each case. Duck, lo duck, loss, duck heat loads. So that's also important in this case because since we're creating a ceiling that is going to be below the attic. That means that my duct work for this room is gonna be in the attic. So this is gonna be a, a first story building or uh, one floor house, single home, okay? So if that's, if that's the case, then we put in here, the duct work is gonna be in the attic for the supply and in the return, it's gonna be in the attic, vented attic, vented attic. There we go, excellent. And then for the walls, we already created a library the other day in the previous video. It's called exposed two by four R15. Select okay. And now what we're gonna do is the ceiling. So the ceiling, you click on it. And then as you can see, we have none. So that's why we're going to create a library for the ceiling. And then for that, again, you go to the library. In the library, you go to constructions. In constructions, you go to new in here. And then in new, you have options. You can choose a wall, glazing, floor, door, ceiling. So in the ceiling, you're going to put the name. Let's put this as a ceiling. Well, all capital ceiling um this could be called r38 for example ceiling r38 insulation 38 you can put r30 you can put r49 whichever you are whichever name is best for you so you hit okay excellent now when you hit okay you have one two three four five options so from the five options the most common is the ceiling under attic. Okay, so we're gonna click on that. And then we're gonna be able to select our custom settings, all right? So the roof material is gonna be asphalt sing uh, shingles and then roof insulation is gonna be none. Sometimes they put some insulation, right? Attic is going to be vented. Attic usually is vented because the attic gets extremely hot. So it usually goes until 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's very important to vent it. 
and in some jurisdictions in some states they put even a radiant barrier so if you have a radiant barrier then that this would be your setting vented with radiant barrier okay so the ceiling insulation is the most important one where you're gonna put r38 that's why i call ceiling r38 okay you have r50 or whichever you want okay so for the ceiling finish is usually it's usually half inch gypsum board okay but you have way more options so that should be it and then the results in here you have the cltd group and the manual j code which is 16b dash 38d we're gonna go into we're gonna do another video to explain the, those codes all right so once you do that and also let me also let you guys know because you also have the option to choose your ceiling by doing custom layers see you have the layers in here you also have the option to do custom values which is a straightforward see you value you value okay you can put even a radiant barrier in here okay insulation value 38 but now we're gonna keep on having the radio buttons and then once you're when you're done you can hit apply right here you hit apply and it's all good there we go it's part of my materials so whenever you do and you're trying to put your properties you right click and then you put ceiling in here you click in here and then now it's going to be available there see ceiling 38 but how do i do that so i go here i click here instead of none in your library you're gonna be able to select which one ceiling 38 there you go the one that you created Okay, and you hit OK, and you would be all good. Okay, so we're all good with this dining room. And once you have all your properties, you're going to be able to select more rooms and more rooms. And also, just as a reminder, uh, this is also only for annotations. This is only because it's just for cosmetics that you can show uh, that, that you can show this better. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and in the next video, we're going to be talking about how to create slabs, slabs, I mean floor art insulation. All right. Well, thanks so much. Like and subscribe. Thanks.